OHLC bar charts, what are they? What can they be used for? Let me explain in this video. And the good news is there is nothing complicated here at all. I am uh, convinced that you can probably do this. At the core, they're just a tool that we can use as swing traders or day traders or investors to help us make decisions about our future moves. And this could be applied to options, stocks, cryptocurrency, futures themselves. It's just a tool to help us plan a trade, plan an investment, as they are strictly focused on the price uh, or price action of the object that you are trading. So let me show you what they are, how they work, and like I said, it's gonna be very anticlimactic. So here we are looking at an OHLC chart, and I have it color-coded, so hopefully that makes it easier to see. But let's start with the O, which stands for open. And the open can be found at that line right there. So that is where the price opened up. Opened up relative to what? Where that is gonna depend on the time frame itself. And up here, you can see that we are on a one minute time frame. So this is what's telling us, whoops, it just moved because this is actually Bitcoin, so it's still live. But this is what's telling us where the price is every minute. Now, if I were to change this up here to five minute, then each, would represent, well, what's going on every five minutes. If you were to change that to a day, then hopefully you're filling in my sentence saying, well, that would mean that that would be telling us the prices and where they were every day, exactly. But on this situation, we're on the one minute time frame. So that line represents the open. And then we have now the H. The H represents the high. How high did the price go during this one minute? Well, that went up as high as the top of that overall line right there. Next, we have the L. How low did the price go? And you can see within the orange circle as I try to you know, get the, the open line right there, we have the bottom of the vertical line and that is showing us where the low was. And then we have the close and the close is the part of this line over here. So if you would just envision this as essentially, you know, anytime you look, there we go. And, we, and I'll, I have Bitcoin selected uh, because we'll be able to watch one form here in just a moment. But if you envision time, time always moves like this, right? That's how we envision it. So if this is when time starts and ends, it starts with the open. That is why the open is on the left side of things. And then it ends as we move to the right. And that is why the close is on the right side of that line. And then the other thing to, uh, to take note of is just simply the size of the vertical line itself. So that right there is telling us that the price actually made a pretty big move within that one minute because if the price opened there, it started there, but then it ended up there, it closed right there. Well, you can see there, that's a, a very big move. So my question to you would be just as a kind of real life quiz question, where's the situation where you see, oh yeah, there, there wasn't much price movement in that one minute period. If you're looking and saying, well, I, I noticed this one right here, Clay, that's a, <laughs> that, that's a very small candle. Abs you're absolutely right. That would, or excuse me, not candle. That's a very small, uh, you know, um, bar right there because you're right. We know that it opened there, it started there, and it closed right there. It ended right there. Very little distance from there up to there. So that would be one where very little movement. And then, of course, right here we have one where there's, uh, you know, a, a quite a bit of movement. Now, what's interesting about this one is you can see that the open and the low were the exact same spot because there was no area that pointed down below. All these other ones have you know, the line that points down below, goes below, goes below, but that's not the case here. That one, because there is no line that you know, comes down and looks like that, all that's telling us is that where this one opened was also the lowest where it got during that one minute period. And then as far as colors are concerned, that's gonna tend, uh, you know, depend on where it ended relative to where it started. So if this one started here, and then the second line is up above it, that means the price went up, therefore it's green. If this one started here, and then the secondary line ended right there, that means that the price went down during that one minute period, and that is why it is red. And these can just be very helpful in gauging how intense a price movement is. Maybe if a price movement has gone quiet and barely anything's happening. Now think about the, you know, the vertical line. This line right here would mean, whoa, that was a lot of movement. But something like this doesn't mean a whole lot. It means uh, that you know there's not a whole lot of volatility at that point. Uh, so like I said, good amount of value that you can look at within each one of these bars. But let's take a quick look at the formation of one of these as it's forming. So right here we can see, because this is Bitcoin, Bitcoin is always open, 
the formation of the candle. So notice this candle is red right now because this secondary line is below the opening line. But if this line here were to move up above, there we go, it went green. Wow, you couldn't time that up better. But it's going green because if this secondary line, which means where it ends, if the if it ends above where it started, it's gonna be green. So there is a formation, and this is why the chart was, it kept moving on us because every time a new candle starts, and this is one minute, so there we go. A new candle is now starting. So notice how these lines are basically at even because it, you know, it's opening, there we go, now it's going down, that's why it's red. This secondary line is below that one. But if this line were to come up above, what color would it change? Hopefully you're saying that would mean it would become green. Very good. So we'll watch how this one continues. That'd be great if we could get it. But I, so right now, just as we watch that one, check out this right here, wow. Big old plunge, St open there, never even went higher. How do I know it never went higher? Well look, the high, is at the same location of the open, and then just this big old line there. So there was a big move. Now right now you can tell that there seems to be buyers right here because these lows, they just keep going down there and getting rejected. There we go, getting some good movement there. Uh, so that's one thing that I'm you know noticing right now is uh, you know for whatever reason people are deciding to step in and buy down around that area right there. Uh, but as of now, very nice bounce. So there we go. There is the formation of some OHLC bars. And if you like the chart that I was using here, you thought it was very visually appealing and you just thought, okay, hey, that, that's a nice chart that you're using in your example, who is that? I was using Webull and that's who I do use for my charting whenever I'm trading options or stocks or what have you and they're always running promotions. So if you use the link down in the description box, you will gain access to whatever the promotion is. Usually they're giving away shares or money to sign up. Platform's totally free, so it's pretty cool to get paid to sign up for a quality platform. And yes, it is an affiliate link, so if you use it, I will get something, but uh, so just throwing that out there, but if you're looking for a super easy way to support the channel, that's free of charge to you. In fact, you're getting paid to support the channel, then like I said, if you don't mind using that link, that would be fantastic. So that is what an OHLC bar is. I hope that helps, and I hope that can kind of clear, uh, clear any confusion. Maybe you've heard that term and you aren't quite sure what it was, but you know, at the end of the day, knowledge is a great thing to have. And if there are any final questions, please leave those down in the comment section below. And then also, if you're looking for a way to just support the channel, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would really go a long way. So subscribe button, hitting the like button, really helps out and I thank you in advance for doing that. So yeah, get out there and consider using OHLC bars. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.